Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-four in chapter twenty-four. Chapter twenty-four is about capacitors, dielectrics, electric energy storage. So in this system, we have three parallel connected capacitors, right? C one, C two, C three, and their parameters like the A one, A two, A three, and its separation D one, D two, D three are given. Now we need to prove the equivalent capacitance for this power connection equals to this function. So how can we do that? We can consider there. This is a power connection. So the charge at this main branches is Q one. Uh, is Q right? Is Q, and then this charge is separated in Q one, Q two, Q three, right? So very obviously, the charge conservation we can see the Q equal to Q one plus Q two plus Q three. We write it there, right? Yes. Now we can write the Q as the equivalent capacitance times the V, the voltages for this circuit. Agree? Yes. Because this is a definition, right? The charge equal to capacitance times the voltage. So this is the equivalent of capacitance times its potential. And also, we know this is a parallel connection. So that means the potential for C1, C2, C3 are equal, right? So that means C1 equal to uh, Q1 equal to C1 times V. C1 is capacitance for the first capacitance, C1 times V. V is the potential, right? Similarly, we have have a C two as a, or Q two as C two times V, Q three as C three times V, right? Yes. And then we can see, we can input the Q at there, and the Q one inside, Q two inside in this charge conservation equation, right? So. It equal to this way, and then this uh, we can write these uh, equations. In these equations, you can see v v v v cancels, so we get a final function look like this one. Thank you.